Okay, Scorpio. They are showing me that you are what they call a maker. Okay, you make time for everybody else, but not for you. You may have headaches stemming from the pressure that this puts here on the base, you know, of your, right here on your shoulders. Okay. And, oh, they're saying that you are overwhelmed and overburdened. Okay, you're not giving to yourself in the way that you are supposed to. All right. There was tough to get behind you, but there's not. But there is a lot of energy clearing, okay? Okay, you do feel this person when they think about you. There is a lot of 5D connection here. Okay, and there's a lot of mirroring energy. And at times it's overwhelming. You may have learned a lot from this, but it still can get to you. Okay. You really would love to just be close and connected to this person. Like, you're like, oh, I just wish that we could have that energy. Like, you want that connected energy, okay? You desire this sort of union, okay? And you do love this person more than they could ever know. Again, you're like, I was not blamed for this cycle, but you, or for this drama, but you also know you have to change, okay? You also know that there is a cycle at play here, and you're like, it's got to move on. Okay, pay attention to the red flags, all right? This person has a lot of damage that they have not healed. And they like the energy pull that they get from you. Okay, so if everything is so good in the 5D, there's no reason if they can keep connecting with you like that for them to come forward or to do the work on their own. Okay, and there is new love coming in. Okay, there is a soulmate coming towards you. Yeah, they're saying pull off of social media for a few days, okay? Quit being where they can see. It's almost like they they plant like little Easter eggs like for you to come and gather up so that they can be like, oh, there you are. Yes, now you're connected to me and now I can take that energy. All right? Yeah. I feel like you maybe have tried to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person, but there's so many differences between you two. Like, there definitely is an age difference here, different upbringings, um, probably even a different spiritual path, which makes it so that this person doesn't really understand, like, your energy of being awake, all right? such and much energy to clear here okay we do have betrayal here okay it's not something coming it's something from the past I feel like that you may not know about that this person and they're showing me a separation between the three and the four of swords and so the three of swords there was a heartbreak okay that came out of it. This person was, and this person realizes that that was a really nasty thing to do. Okay, so five of pentacles. That's why this person is so emotionally withdrawn from you. Okay, it's because they know how they treated you in the past. Okay, you're forgiving, but this person is like a hurricane coming ashore 
And Spirit is saying, look at your reflection, okay? Is this person healthy for you or not? Knight of Swords, okay? This person, there's that really, that really spontaneous side to them, perhaps that's kind of intriguing to you. Okay, but they don't think before they speak or do things. That's how they cause the pain. And they're telling you, okay, you don't want to because you don't want to walk into that flame. But you can see the flame is not burning those blankets, okay, that you are riding on top of the water on. It looks like blankets. It's probably supposed to be like a little raft or something, but it looks like blankets to me. Maybe you like curling up in a blanket. Okay, but they're saying this rebirth is needed, okay? Oh. You guys, I really am not tired. There's just not much energy here. Okay, there we have Knight of Wands. Coming back around to pull some more of that flame, to pull some more energy. Okay, but they're not in, it's almost like they're not in control of it. They don't even know what they're doing. Okay. No. Okay, they're wearing a mask. They're only showing you a portion of themselves. Because like I said, they're a hurricane. And you may, something's going to happen, I feel like, with the full moon. The full moon's going to wake something up in you, and you're going to see that they're a hurricane. Okay? And you're going to realize that this person, okay, that there are some real narcissistic victim -y, victimhood, okay, behaviors in this person. Okay? Ask your spirit guides for guidance. Yeah, because does this person love you? Yes. But it's all, they just like to close their eyes and come to you in that way. They don't want to be with you in the way that you want. No, not this, okay. Yep, they are slowly taking off a little bit of the mask to see what is going on here, to open up to you a little bit, okay? But I feel like it's only to keep their grounding, to keep the connection going. This person is all about money, the material things, okay? Yeah, all right. They may be building this whole life somewhere. The nice house, the nice car, the nice family. And honestly to them, it's nothing that you are, you know, suffering here in silence. Okay, spirit again, this is falling on the deception is deception. I feel like spirit wants you to know that this is deception. Okay, you are wearing the mask of deception in your current situation. Quantified as I don't know what to say and so I'm hiding what I feel. That person, deception, okay? Past. You are dealing with a repeating situation or soul from your past, past life. The key to my future lies in a return from my past. The past is my present. Yep. That's where you're at right now, right? Yeah, Spirit's asking you to step into your strength. You have the capacity to take on the day with 
any t and any temptations withstanding. I am ready to face the situation with courage and fortitude. Isolation. You are pushing away the inner adversity until you are open to it. I am leaving you out of my life until my flight, fight, freeze response calms down. Okay. It could be that's what this person is doing. But perhaps spirit is saying that this reading might trigger you into doing that. All right. Yeah, this is the, your divine love, okay? You've connected with the divine partner you've been seeking. I am triggered and healing by the mirror energies for union and breakthrough. You have learned what is needed to make dynamic new beginnings. I am over, oh, I am awakened and can rise up or fall back depending on my level of self-doubt. Okay, you can suffer here in silence waiting for this person. Or you have all the capacity to move yourself forward. Okay, in this King of Pentacles energy. Yep, trickery. Okay, this person is using trickery here, okay, to gain your attention. And yes, okay, you are pulled into this because what you want is the commitment and the, the union energy from this person. They're saying you've got to release it. You've got to grieve and release, and they're showing here a full lunar cycle, okay? They're saying from the full moon here now that we just had, okay, um, last night, until you get to the following full moon. Really work on releasing this person and protecting your solar plexus so that they can't keep siphoning off your energy. Make them do their own work, okay? Because here we go, they are self-interested. And the second that you take your own stuff and take interest in yourself and move away, their ego is going to go big time, go off, okay? Yeah. This person is selfish, okay? Very self-occupied. And you're laugh, you are have like this light side, you're silly, you're fun, you're easygoing. And they like that, okay? Again, you bring them great happiness, right? You bring them so much joy. They love your playful side. They love your passionate side, and they do have actually a lot of passion for you because this goes down on the religious factors card, which does have a lot of passion in it, okay? I feel like they're kind of surprised that you've stuck around this long, to be quite honest. Yeah, because they're like, I haven't taken off my mask, and there you still are, okay? Spirit's saying, they're not going to. You need to work on healing your own heart, okay? Work on gaining your own closure. Yeah, someone's coming in, okay, that's going to be a great teacher for you. And that you're going to share your magic with them. Okay, which is going to be very beautiful energy. Yep, Ascended Master. That's that King of Pentacles, okay? Yeah, look at that. There's the King of Pentacles. It's leading you down this path of abundance. All right? But you've got to get over the waiting for the calm in the storm. 
okay? They're saying, we're giving you the happiness that you are seeking that will lead to a commitment, all right? You are deserving of love. Here comes the loving woman, okay? Take the steps. Take the steps for this love that's coming in. Okay, for some of you, this King of Pentacles is going to be a very soft, generous person. Okay, um, for someone I'm getting here, it could be, okay, a same-sex relationship. But it will bring you, look at that, peace, creative connection here. <laughs> really great gratitude. Moving on to what? New beginnings. Okay. That's beautiful energy. Okay. Yeah. Spirit says there may be an age difference, but you are the mature one. Okay. Yep, it's time for that breakthrough. Okay, you've got breakthrough here twice, right? It's time for that breakthrough. Yeah, go silent, okay? Because this person has a way of pulling you in and out of energy. Yep. You need to go back to that moment to moment. Make sure that you're protecting yourself, right? And let go of this before you end up in a tower energy from this. Yep. Yeah. They say there is commitment coming in here. All right. It might take you a minute to feel confident to come out of your shell. But this will transform your love. Okay immensely. Okay. It's all going to start with whatever it is that you learn or that you feel from the full moon here. <laughs> Lovers in reverse. Okay. Yep. Fighting for yourself now. No. Empress in reverse. Nine of cups in reverse. I'm lying here on the lovers. I feel like you're going to figure something out. There's something that you're going to find out. Okay. Destiny. All of this is happening the way that it's supposed to. Okay. Feel that it is, I feel like it's teaching you patience. Okay, we've got 12 and 12. All right, the mystery, the unknown. Look up angel number 12 and angel number 12, 12. Okay, I mean, it is a one and a two. Okay, taking a new beginning, making a decision. And then healing your heart, okay, letting the moon... There's something about that full moon. Letting the moon open up this space to start healing your heart. Okay. And there you are. Transforming. Finally going through the process of rebirth. All right. If this person is a Capricorn, they're telling you here with angel number 22... That this person was using you and they've been using you in your energy. But I feel like they've been using you um, energetically to, you know, bring forth what they want and desire. Not what you want and desire. It's like this person is a real, a real piece of work. They have a lot of immaturity and work to do. Hmm. 
Okay, let's see here. Don't you worry, Spirit has a little plan here, I think. Okay, let's get these final messages. We're going to go through this and then we're going, they're actually doing a little bit backwards. We're going to go through this and then we're going to pull from the Mindset Unicorn deck, okay? Let me put on my glasses for a minute. Giraffe, visionary, rise above earthly matters, glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. Okay. Cat, independent, you are a natural healer. Your intuition is strong. You don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. Puffin, partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. Birth of creation, potential growth. Okay, what you've manifested with this new love coming in has a lot of growth in it, okay? Visions of life beyond death. I feel like, okay, for some of you, I feel like you could be connecting with your ancestors and it's transforming you. For perhaps one of you, not all of you, this could be about someone that has just passed and that you are very in tune intuitively with this, this ancestor, specific ancestor of yours. Flow. Okay. Find an easier path forward. Surrender the outcome. Release your expectations. Okay. All in that healing heart energy. And here we have your ancestor again. Legacy of light. Your connection with this ancestor and they're the one bringing forward the information here from the full moon, but they're going to heal your inner child. And it's going to heal your lineage going forward. Emotional challenges resolve the issue. Okay, there's no use crying over this, they're saying, because you've already cried like a million tears over this person. Okay. You know you're connected with them. You know that they have used you energetically. They're saying that there's nothing you can do about that. You may really enjoy the way that it feels when you connect with this person in the 5D. But what they're saying is for now, if you shield your solar plexus and keep them out of that space, it allows you that time to heal so that it also allows them the time to grow so that when you connect with them later, did you just see that shift? <laughs> that was important. When you connect with them later, it will not be the way that it has been. Yep, you are creating something new. There is a birth coming here, okay? Yep, you may be feeling this person, the intuition here at night that this new person is coming. Yep, clean slate, new morning. It's a beautiful energy. Just keep visualizing in the present moment, they say.
Okay, yeah. They say your tribe, your pack is coming here, okay, perhaps in the spring. So go through that rebirth so that you are able to, okay, crossing energy, walk away for the things that don't serve you. Because this person, excuse me, they do not connect with you emotionally. Okay, the dragon for me is someone that does not emotionally connect. And that's what's lacking here. And that's what you desire. So why would you take them? Okay, stay grounded. Go after your own passions. Okay, follow your purpose. Yeah, go on this new journey. At the bottom of the deck, we have the birth again. <laughs> and it is what you've wished for and what your spirit guides have called you to. Okay? So that's beautiful energy, Scorpio. Just beautiful. Okay? I know that you are probably heartbroken about this person. But so much more is coming forward to you. And... What a blessing, okay? I'm excited to hear about your ancestors. <laughs> I must say. All right. All right. I hope this helped you. Much love, okay? Bye.